Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we are M-Square Projects. We do the educational videos and the engineering techniques to make you expertise. So in today's video, I am going to explain about Eng's modulus and how it is calculated and its usage. So let's get started. concept let's understand how the material properties has been calculated for any new material so if you have a new material which material properties you don't know and you want to do some design and analysis with that material so for that purpose you should have Eng's modulus so there is a universal testing machine which used to calculate the material properties for your calculation so in this universal testing machine, specific dimension specimen has been prepared for that material and that has been tested. So it is attached to the both ends jaws and the gradually force has been applied so that it is pulling in the both directions and because of that tensile loading, there will be stress generated at the cross section. And due to the stress, there will be strain generation and there is some relation. In this machine, we are measuring how much the force applied per unit time and how much is the change in the length happened to that specimen. The force is now converted into stress by dividing its cross section area by uh, change in dimension divided by original dimension has been calculated using strain. Here it is considered as a length. When we have two values over the time, stress and strain, that has been plot against each other. So once we start plotting, we will see the graph like this. So if you observe these two regions separated by these two lines, first region is called as a elastic region. Means when we apply a force on a body within the elastic limit, there will be generation of a stress, there will be some deformation and when we remove that force, it will reduce that deformation back to zero. Means within elastic limit, body will try to come back to its original position when external load has been removed. But when it crosses beyond the elastic limit, there will be a plastic region. That means once body get deformed, it will not come back to its original position that is called as a plastic region. So where we can find out maximum uh, stress that is ultimate stress or a breaking stress. Now we will understand about the elastic region. So only I have drawn elastic region on stress strain curve. So if you see this line is a linear and we can take the slope of this line. How we can calculate the slope? We can calculate the slope from the stress and the strain mm -hmm. value by dividing difference in the stress divided by difference in the strain. If you see on this linear line, we can say stress is directly proportional to strain. As we increase the stress, strain will increase. As we reduce the stress, strain will reduce. So stress is directly proportional to the strain. So it is mathematically written as stress sigma directly proportional to strain epsilon. To remove this proportionality sign, we introduce one new constant, proportionality constant. Sigma is equal to E into epsilon, where E is our Eng's modulus. Value of E is remains constant for any given sing material. So its unit is, if you rearrange the term, we can find out the its unit that is Newton per meter square or megapascal or GPA, gigapascal. As earlier explained, each material has different Eng's modulus because different material has different stress strain curve and that defines different Eng's modulus. 
so here i have drawn a variation of the ink's modulus so polymers like rubbers rubber materials have very less ink's modulus while metal have intermediate while ceramics have higher ink's modulus so higher the ink's modulus higher the stiffness lower the ink's modulus lower the stiffness that means when we apply small amount of stress there will be a large amount of deformation while when we apply small amount of large amount of stress on the ceramics there will be a small deformation this is very useful material property but one thing we have to understand in the analysis we use ings modulus that means when we define the ings modulus it will define the linear line throughout so that is when we apply the load it will show the deformation based on this linear line so we need to take care of this how to define the material properties in the analysis thank you for watching if you like please hit that like button and subscribe and press bell icon